Yo boy, PC got a little bit of an upgrade. This is one of the friendliest pigs on the farm. Look at the ears. <laughs> All right, chickens. Don't leave my property, please. Look at you guys. Come on, who's getting it? I ain't moving. One of you gotta get it. Oh, the platinums are fired Ooh. up, dude. <laughs> hey, yo boy, PC got a little bit of an upgrade. I bought a diesel truck. It's really nice. Not gonna lie, I'm excited. I'm gonna fully build this thing to make it look like a monster truck. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. Maybe I'll film it. Otherwise, I never film vehicles. I'm an animal YouTuber, vlogger, entertainer. I don't know what I am, to be honest. I'll let you guys categorize me down below. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video. Paul, why'd you buy a new truck? I wanted a diesel, and two, I needed a bigger bed. We have a lot of cool projects coming that are gonna require a lot of room. I'm chilling in the bed right now, actually. Yes, I have pants on, they're just short. <laughs> a Denali. It's really nice. I don't know why I got on the passenger side. I'm really out of it today. There's not much else to that. Cool. I do have a lot to do today though, a lot. And it's all at the farm. So we got a big day at the farm, updates, feedings, actually very large updates as a matter of fact. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Wanna get them belly rubs? You gonna tip over for us? You gonna tip over? Yeah, you are, right over. There he goes. This is one of the friendliest pigs on the farm. And it's crazy too, cause it's like a, literally a wild boar hog. This is a wild hog that was raised by someone. And then I came along and rescued it. Before we get started on everything we have to do at the farm today, I do have a word from today's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is trusted by more than six million men worldwide for providing premium tools and formulations designed specifically for below the waist grooming and hygiene. You're probably familiar with the Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof body trimmer or the Crop Preserver, the anti-shaping ball deodorant. Now as the leader in men's grooming, Manscaped is going beyond the groin with a brand new lineup of men's products for your head and body. Introducing Manscaped's Ultra Premium Collection. Let's check it out. Manscaped just sent me a box for the new Ultra Premium Collection. And these products are next level. This is the ultimate all-in-one skin and hair care kit, covering you head to toe. The new Ultra Premium Collection includes the Manscaped 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner, the Manscaped body wash with refined cologne scent, the hydrating body spray, the new aluminum free stick deodorant, plus this free gift, the new moisturizing lip balm in a handy three pack. Man, maintenance just got a whole lot easier. The Ultra Premium Collection helps you save time and levels up your grooming to the big leagues. And guess what? All Manscaped products in the Ultra Premium Collection are cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan. Be sure to opt in for Manscaped's peak hygiene plan. That way you never run out of your favorite Manscaped products. Just pick a replenishment cycle and those products will show up to your doorstep hassle-free. Thank you Manscaped for covering me head to toe as always. If you guys do want to check out, my link is down below for 20% off. Manscaped.com slash Paul. That is 20% off plus free international shipping. Just click in that link down below manscaped.com slash Paul. Thank you so much Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Let's get on with it. It's okay, you can wake up now. The sponsor's over. Hello? Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> So we have made some progress on the 5,500 gallon pond. The warehouse is covered. It needs a full, full clean. Oh gosh, it probably has fiberglass in it. Look at the top of the tank. <laughs> this thing looks good though. I am so stoked, it's finally coming along. As you know, if you're not familiar with the plans for this, this is my massive 5,500 gallon pond. It is where all the fish up front in this pond will go. As you can see, we have fiberglass. This is layer number one. I'm not sure what he has planned to do. I'm not, I'm not a fiberglass guy, but he knows what he's doing. The same exact individual did Rodrigo's tanks at Predatory Fins, even the big 12,000 gallon that the Arapaimas were in, and also did my friend Nick's tank, the saltwater pond that you guys have seen many times. So this guy knows what he's doing. As you can see, he's got all the materials right there. And uh, he is now working on the PC Farms Pond, which I'm super excited for. I mean, it has been months we've been waiting to get this thing finally set up. Filtration is on the way. Rodrigo is working on that. I'm actually purchasing a really cool filtration for this pond in particular. It's a drum filter. This filter that I'm buying will actually do water changes on its own. It does everything on its own, which is 
incredible. It's expensive, but it's incredible. This looks amazing though. We have the first layer, as you can see, look at that. It is together the whole way across and drying at the moment. It is a mess in here though, I'll tell you what. Back to the plan, I know I got sidetracked there for a second. The plan is to get this all done, the pond will get fiberglassed, and then I'm gonna have to clean all this out, so I have to rinse the pond with Dawn dish soap scrubbing it and everything to get any sort of chemicals out of it. The same thing Rodrigo did, same thing Nick did. You just have to do that because the fiberglass has so many chemicals in it. Once you do that, you drain all the water out again, you rinse it down, drain out again, then you could fill it up. Once that's done, then I am going to drain all the water out completely and repaint all this inside here. I wanna do a lighter color. This is the color, it is a really, really cool blue and I think it has more character and shows the fish more than this darker blue right here. And then of course the outside we will recoat in a fresh black. So that just makes it pop a little bit more. We have two viewing panels right here. One and the other one is over there. These two are gonna be useless because one's against the wall and the other one's against this wall. So I'll probably black them out with erasable paint on the outside of them. So if I ever move this pond one day, I could always take the paint off and then we have four viewing panels again. The pond looks so good though, man. I'm super, super excited about this. If you guys are excited for the 5,500 gallon pond to get set up, smash that like button. I wanna see 20,000 likes. Update on our Fly River. Hey buddy. What are you doing swimming around down there, huh? He was eating this morning. We got him to finally start eating. Look at him, he's moving around like crazy now. He loves these wafers right here. This is not sponsored or anything, but he does. Those are his favorite, and even the previous owner of him, Mike, told me to buy those wafers. Mike, he loves them. Everything else in the fish building is doing absolutely amazing. As you know, the axolotls this morning, they were fired up eating their shrimp. They just were going nuts. I took a video of it because it was so cool. They were just all over each other. They ate, of course, if you watched last video, we got jellyfish, three moon jellies. And they are also doing fantastic. Look at them, so crazy looking. This tank is really unique as well. It's just such a cool tank. Arowana is getting bigger already, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, whoa. Eventually I'm gonna get that Arowana and he's gonna go into this bad boy at some point, at some point. He's got a little bit of growing up to do first. Look at all the pigs sleeping. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry to wake you guys up. You're all just laying out. I know, it's a beautiful day. And I stepped in dog poop. That is crazy, love that. How's everyone doing? You all ate this morning already, but I did want to show you, this enclosure is just so beautiful. I love this so much, all this coverage. If you look real closely, Lady May and Mango are also slumped. Sleeping. Caferos, I finally let all the chickens out too. Look, the doors are open, there's no chickens to be seen. All right, chickens, don't leave my property, please. Just stay in this, uh, this vicinity. Naked Neck is coming out to explore. We have our first explorer, and he's giving the confidence to everyone else. I'm not sure exactly why, but look. All the chickens are in the goat enclosure. They just want it to go right into here. Let me get in here. My thought on why they might want to come into the goat enclosure with little baby over here and king, of course. Look at the ears. <laughs> My thought on why these chickens may have picked the goat enclosure, one, it was easy access. They were easily able to fit under this little gate here. Unlike the other enclosures, they, they, they can't do that. I also feed the goats right here, and if you look real closely, it's a bunch of microscopic pieces of grain that these goats leave on the ground. See them eating right now? Yeah, buddy. The pigs eat every little bit of food off the ground. The goats, they chew it, they drop a lot of it, so there's probably a lot of food on the ground in this goat enclosure compared to the pig enclosure, so that's another reason why all the chickens are probably in here. Look at you guys. Featherfoot, there he goes, naked neck, and our microscopic chicken. There's a little hen right there. They're probably loving the fact that they're free range now and they could just run around and be wild chickens. Right, guys? Hi. I got King rubbing on my leg and little baby looking for attention. You alright, King? King, sometimes I wonder if you're part human. You, you, you act like you're a human. You want a lot of attention. Look who's awake, huh? Mango, you just wake up out of your deep sleep or something? He's like, I heard you, I knew you might have had food, so I came to check out. I don't have food for you, bud, you already ate this morning. Little, little chicken. One of these absolute monsters in here. The water is clear. That red tail's all the way at the bottom. Got our Oscars up top, koi fish down there, platinum red tails. Hey, buddy. As you can see our jag cichlid down there. This hybrid's getting super big. We've got fresh fish all cut up. Check this out. Ready, bubs? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Take it easy. Come here, bud. Oh, that's gone. 
that's pretty much how it goes feeding this pond. We feed them how much? Five pounds of fish a day? Yeah. Every other day, five pounds sometimes. It gets pretty crazy. Lots of meat. Come on. Come on. Who's getting it? I ain't moving. One of you gotta get it. Oh, the platinums are fired Ooh. up, dude. Now, I do like to do this just to make sure everyone eats. You get a couple handfuls, throw it out, and that's how a lot of fish eat. That was the melanistic gar right there. Love feeding that one. And that right there is a quick feeding of the 3600 gallon pond. It's always a blast and I don't really film it much. I should more actually. If you guys want to see more of that, let me know. <laughs> the water is very, very low. My fountain's messed up. I constantly have to work on this pond. Like once every, what, month or so, I got to do this. It gets so close. Very hard when this algae build Ugh, to get a good enough grip. Almost impossible. Ugh. Oh! Never doubt yourself. All these little holes in the water fountain get clogged with like muck and all sorts of different things. These are the things we do off camera typically, but today we're just having a farm day, so we're filming it. Wait till you see how good the fountain's flowing after this, though. Ready, David? Ready. Nice. Now that's more like it. Hey Finn, you eating some hay? Oh yeah. Now this is to prevent the water from getting so green. As you can see the duck pond's water gets real, real dirty quick. Now we got fresh water flowing out and this will fill up and it get a little bit more clear all around. Bam. I might as well put like a hazmat suit on or something, dude. I'm gonna faint here in a second. This is insanely strong, the smell. I got the doors open, it's gonna just vent out. Pond is almost done, it's got one more day, and the final coat will go on tomorrow. There it is, it looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, there's a lot of different coats of fiberglass. This guy really knows what he's doing, and I could not be more excited with the way this is coming out. I can't wait to get this project done. This is the biggest project, I think, on the channel, at least right now, at this moment, and it's almost, almost done. Well, of course, the fiberglass is almost done. Then we gotta paint, and do a couple of the little things like I had mentioned earlier. But this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that project. I'm getting the heck out of here. I can't even breathe in there. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. The links are down below for that. Coon Coon, there you go. <laughs> they love this. This was really just a full day at the farm. And I really hope you enjoyed it because we have got some crazy, crazy plans coming up here this week. So subscribe or I'm stealing your favorite snacks out of your pantry. Peace. Peace.